Remember the last time we talked about green screening in Premiere Pro? This time we're taking it to a whole new level in After Effects, right? If you haven't followed me on my social media, I'm going to put the links as always. And you guys make sure you go follow me on my social media platforms and see what I post next. Really interesting content. And I'm going to be running like a competition soon where you guys do some challenge and you submit your work. And anyway, <clears throat> let's just get into the work and watch every single step. I prefer that you use After Effects, really, it's that good, really good. Anyway, let's get into it. As you guys see for this tutorial, we're using After Effects and I really recommend that you use After Effects. I mean, it's really incredible for things like VFX and making incredible unrealistic stuff you know so i'm gonna head up and locate my footage uh and create a new project on after effects and go and organize my layout and also go back and drag my footage into the project panel and create a new composition head over to the effects and presets and search for remove grain that's gonna help you uh on the grains maybe you shot the video and it's not really looking good with the grains you want to change that uh, viewing mode to final output just for my sake of my PC I'm gonna change that to third so that it plays nicely right look at that now pre-compose that and move all attributes into the new composition and rename that as keying press ok now you want to head over to effects and presets and search for color this is an old way of removing green screen so you just select a, a place where you want to remove a green screen you increase the color tolerance and feather a little bit if you want and you can keep on duplicating that as much as you want keep select selecting the place you want to remove a green screen and keep on increasing the tolerance play around with that and also you want to uh, feather that a little bit to make it soft at the edges right you also now gonna keep on doing the same thing duplicating doing the same thing i mean until when you feel good about it now you're gonna search simple choker on the effects and presets and drag it over to the footage and you want to drag it all the way down uh to something negative 100 and duplicate it again and uh, put it somewhere around 50 that's what i could do for now and what's this gonna do it's gonna actually animate this for you uh automatically where your character is or where you're trying to remove the green screen right there it is beautiful now what do we want to do you want to search for key light this is the master of removing a uh, green screen i actually prefer that you use this most of the time so you wanna uh, click that and remove the green screen look at that and head over to the uh, screen mat and just increase that i don't recommend that you pass uh, maybe uh, 80 you know and just look at that the clips uh, looks beautiful but now you wanna also the key uh, take off this uh, pieces of things I don't want so I'm gonna use the pen tool and just mask it out and look at that again now you want to drag your background just to make it a little bit interesting on this video you know so search for levels and you want to put the levels on the background now you want to not on the uh, footage now you want to change the red you want to try to do the color uh, match with the background right so that's the way that i use also uh when i'm trying to also match the background with the uh, footage you know so i would recommend that you guys try to uh, also get to know more about levels you can use levels to match the background also with the footage so I'm just gonna look at this okay this is looking something beautiful look at that so i'm gonna you guys can go to my instagram and watch this video and tell me what you think and this guys is just the end of the video 